Hi, it's Kateri again. Um, I am giving you a heads up on uh, things that you need for the Friday Live if you want to craft with us. So I've got my list right here in my cute little journal that um, I made um, several months ago. And I kind of put little notes and things in here. So, um, anyway, so we'll go, we'll go through the list. You are going to need either heavy cardstock or cereal box. Um, you know, heavy enough that it's like cereal box. This is, this is a heavy cardstock here. It doesn't need to be very, um, very big. Probably, I don't know what I put three and a half by um, three quarters or 3.5 by um, 0.75, depending on if you know which is which. So it's three and a half inches long and a three quarters of an inch in width if you're old school. And for those that learn the new, it's three and a half by 0.75. So um, anyway, that's the card stock uh, that you'll need. Not very much, as you'll see. Then you need, um, oh, I didn't get my, oh yeah, I did. It's right here. Um, fabric of some kind, whatever it is. And I'm actually using, I think I'm going to use this. Um, it's just um, fabric that has been stripped and you know sewn together in pieces so it has come in pretty handy for little things that I've been doing. Matter of fact this is done with it. So it made a really cute little journal. But anyway so that's that's what I'm using uh, on this. Um, and that's only that's three and a half inches long or 3.5 by 1.25 or old school is three and a half inches long and one and a quarter inches wide. So it's a little wider than the cardstock. Then um, we are you need to get two playing cards of any type. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, if you want to go with a certain theme, um, you know, these are like wildlife from Denali when we went, when we went up there. Um, I picked up cards. I was big on cards then. I've got some here that's wildflowers. And there's some here, Colorado. They're nothing special. I think they just have, um, they just have the picture on them. They're just regular cards. So anyway, you need two cards. Or you can use three and use the card for what the heavy card stock is. And you could just cut it because it's not going to be any, taller than a card, but it's going to be thinner. So it's whatever you want to do. Um, on the cards, depending on what we're doing, if, if you're going to be gluing or not, you need a um, nail file or something to file down the shine off of the cards because your glue is not going to, it's not going to stay if you don't. Okay, so there is that. Now, um, you need a box and you'll just have to rubber band the rest of your cards if they're in there. Um, if you decide you don't want to use a box, tear one of these apart and make a template. But you can use this box, if you use a box like this one that has this hanging thing on it, cut it off. 
because you don't you're not going to want that on there um you know when we use these and then this one is entirely different and i'm not doing anything to this box but these cards came in in here so um these are beautiful cards i mean they're just so pretty so anyway um that's that's that so in, anyway 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 all right so you need the a box then you need um some heavy strong thread and a needle um i actually use i don't this won't come out because here now well anyway i use this kind of a a needle it's a little bit i don't even know if you could see it's got a really big eye in it um i just do it so i can get it through the hole but you can use whatever needle it just has to be the eye has to be big enough to now this here is extra strong upholstery thread that i've used and this one is I don't know, it's in some other words. What in the heck is that? I have never seen that before. Um, it's Dual Duty Plus. What's it say it is? It doesn't even say. Anyway, it's a cotton. But, and it is thinner than what I was using but not by much but i actually where is it i have a wax that i run my threads through huh oh here it is i have a wax that um i just run my thread through and that way it it's easier to hold on to so um that's that so needle and thread and then you need 44 pieces of paper, any kind. So I'll show you. This happens to be an envelope that I need to glue the top. Glue the top and cut the side down before I use it because I want pockets from the side. And then this has actually been tea dyed. And this is just some paper I think I got off of um, uh, Shell Ratcliffe. Um, her channel is The Rambling Crafters. So I got that, cut that up. Whoops. Um, I got some um, Victorian flower. This is from the Victorian flower uh, garden, flower album um that i have so and this is a little tiny envelope it's really little this is an extra piece of paper here's just writing paper here with lines this actually is a graph paper and you can tell that i mean they they if you could see them up close they've all been um tea dyed but anyway, this gives you an idea um, of the size, so they're they're pretty small. Um, so <clears throat> it is three and a half. It's three point two five by four point five. As old school people, it's three and uh, yeah, three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches um when you cut it so this is your four and a half inches and this is your three and a quarter this way okay and then the other things that you want to try and get a hold of are um images 
If you're going to use images on some of these little pages here, you need to use less papers. So if you're going to do that, you can't use, um, I used um, 11 in the one that I made. And um, so if you're going to add like pictures, uh, images, ephemera, something, you don't, you can't, they cannot be bulky, okay? Um, they have to stay pretty flat. So if you're going to add that, every image that you add, you have to take a piece of paper out. Otherwise, it's going to get so fat that it's not going to work for what we're doing. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, the other thing that you might want to grab are, you know, clips like this or, um, you know, a paper clip or some kind of clip that, you know, we can hold pages with. I, um, I used washi tape um, the first time. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that again, but you might have it just in case you decide you're going to do it, um, that you might want to use it, and then um, your distress ink and your tool, your distress tool. So, and I also have these bulb pins laying out because I actually think I'm going to use the bulb pins um, and get some beads or something like that. So, I think I pretty much covered everything. Uh, the list will be in the description box if you need to go back. Otherwise, you can rewind the video and write down everything I said that, you know, that you're going to need for Friday. So we will see you on Friday at 12 o'clock. Have a great week. Bye-bye, everybody.